Four young amnesiacs hold the fate of humankind in their hands. Their mission is to protect you from the rifters who want to control the human mind. They may appear to be harmless and self-absorbed, but they have astonishing paranormal powers and an invincible motivation to retrieve the secrets to their past lives, hidden deep in the parallel dimension of the Delta State. Yeah, yeah, uh, I was wondering if you had the leathers in size 12. Son of a... Oh, man, that hurts. Hey, um, should I file the tomato soup under S for soup or T for tomato? <whistles> okay, everybody stop what they're doing. What's wrong? What's wrong? We just found out some pretty earth-shattering news about Brody and no one is dealing with it. You're totally wrong. I'm dealing with it. Dealing with the fact that all this stress has caused me to age prematurely. You just don't understand the enormity of our canned goods situation. I can never find what I need when I need it. <sighs> Wouldn't it be better if we just talked to Brody about this? No. no. Maybe we're just not ready yet. All I could think about was getting out of there as quickly as possible. What about you, Martin? You usually have something to say. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me. $300 on a pair of shoes! Oh, hold on. What? I just got my first credit card. Martin? Relax. I can handle it. Well, credit has a way of catching up with you. This kid is impossible to find. Listen, I've tried everything. He's never applied for a loan or a mortgage. He's got no banking records. I'm not even sure which alias is right. Uh, let's see, I got three possibilities. Uh, Martin Smith, Waters, or Gold. Have you tried the credit bureau? No, 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 I've tried that too. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. Looks like we got four new credit card hits for a Martin Gold. Oh, baby. <laughs> baby, I feel good about this one. All right, listen, uh, pack my bags and I'm leaving as soon as I can get a flight. Pack your own bags. I've got work to do. Thanks a lot. All right. Come on, guys. It's for your own good. We have to talk about this. Well, isn't this cozy? Two rifter birds of a feather. Maria, I thought you'd be gone by now. Brody was kind enough to let me stay. When Sven discovers that Maria's still alive, he will be <laughs> disappointed. That makes two of us. We need to talk to Brody, alone. Very well. 
We trusted in you, Brody. We believed in you. And now we find out you're the very enemy we've been fighting against all these months. You have a right to be angry. Anger doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what I'm feeling. Maybe you need a little more time to cool off. Bottom line, Brody. <sighs> Whose side are you on? Yours. <sighs> well, then explain to us how a rifter can be on our side. Who I am and how I came to be is a very long and very complicated story. Go ahead. We have all time in the world. That's just the point. You don't. None of us do. Unless Sven is stopped. <sighs> Look at me. I get weaker and weaker every single day. I am no threat. I could not possibly ever hurt you. You already have, Brody. I can only imagine how you felt when you found out I was a rifter. Yes, I violated your trust. Probably past the point of no return. I mean, I have a right to ask this, but I need to know. What? Are you in? Or out? Who the hell does Brody think he is? He was trying to make a point. Perhaps Brody's right. Maybe we don't have time to make any more accusations. Why are you defending him? Because with his help, we've killed hundreds of rifters and helped a lot of people. And just tell me how you know that. It's not like we ever follow up on the victims. Think about it. What if everything we've ever done is part of some bigger rifter conspiracy we can't see yet? Well, it might not be perfect. But Brody's all we've got. And personally, I don't want to face this without him. Did you get a glimpse of Brody's attacker? No. Wait a second. You don't think that we destroyed him, do you? It, you mean we'll destroy him. Right. Brody already warned us he was going to die. But maybe if I tell him what I saw, then he can prevent it from happening. Unless that means stopping us. Claire's right. We better find out more before we tell him. Brody. Aha! You are one difficult man to find, Martin Gold. Where'd you get this? Not that I'm complaining. At uh, 20 bucks an hour plus expenses, it's a shame it didn't take four more months to find you. Mind if I come in? Not until you tell me who you are. Private investigator? Who are you? Look, I was hired to find you. Sure, the picture's a bit old, but uh, I'd bet a week's wages you're the guy. That depends who's asking. Oh, just someone who's here to inform you of the sizable fortune you've inherited from your grandfather. I have a grandfather? Had a grandfather, and apparently <laughs> a pretty rich one at that. Whoa! Couldn't say I saw that one coming. So, uh, how much are we talking? Ah! Unfortunately, it's something I don't know. <laughs> now, here's a law firm handling your grandfather's estate. If you choose to claim your inheritance, the local office is listed right there. All right. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Uh, this is for you. Nice catch. You play much?
Have you got everything the lawyers asked for? Yeah. Fingerprints, blood type, everything this state needs to prove that I'm the right guy. Seems odd, though, that the state specifically requested an x-ray of my right arm. Is that some kind of, uh, pin? Sure looks like it. It's weird, though. I can't feel a thing. I wonder how I did it. Shall we get started, Mr. Gold? Yes. I hear the test you requested. Sorry about the formalities, but confirmation of identity was a condition of the estate. Your grandfather's last will is a taped message. Ready to see it? Ready as I'll ever be. Hello, Martin. Now, if you're watching this tape, it means the estate managed to find you. I am so sorry that I didn't get a chance to see you grow up. I, I hope you're happy, doing well, still playing baseball. Stop the tape. Martin, that's... I know, Walter Larch. The soldier from the World War II photograph with Brody. If he's your grandfather, then... That means Brody has known the truth about my past all along. getting close to the truth. Or is it getting close to him? I'd better put a stop to that. I must find Martin's remaining family and eliminate them. That shouldn't be too difficult. Not too difficult at all. I thought he was here with you. Well, he, he said he was meeting us back here at the apartment. What's going on? I was afraid he'd do this. He's gone Delta. Water that doesn't taste like corroded metal. I miss the crack of a baseball flying off the sweet spot. You ever play? A bit. You? I was a first string pitcher in my days. Impressive. If we ever make it out of here, I hope to teach my son how to pitch, you know? Take over where his old man left off. Oh, well, maybe after this bloody war, you can go back to playing again. <sighs> nah. My pitching days are over. What's this? Take it, Martin. You might need it to unlock the door. Left, 23, right, 54, left, 20. Damn. Okay. Right, 23, left, 54, right, 20. going to find him? Well, the way that I figure it, 
is that Phil has already proven that every object has its own signature in time and space. So, we follow the baseball. What's wrong with him? Nothing. Just lockers make me nervous. Phil never told you? <laughs> One of the memories he recovered was of him spending most of third grade stuffed into a locker. <laughs> Apparently, he was quite the geek. <laughs> I was not a geek! Besides, that was privileged information. Martin swore he'd never tell. Well, this locker leads somewhere. Just a little thank you for all you've done for me. Where did you find this? It doesn't matter. The question you should be asking yourself is how Martin got his hands on it. You must go to him. I'm not strong enough to leave here. I can help. Followed. Close the door. Close the door. I've been searching for months for answers to my past. And you've known all along. Just another in a long list of betrayals. I understand, Martin. But before I answer any of your questions, you've all got to answer one of mine. Are you in or out? We're in. Fine. That means you put all recriminations on hold. Can you do that? Fine. Good. Then I'll tell you what I know. Oh, but I want to stay. Get! Oh. The first thing you have to understand is when a rifter colonizes a human body, the host's memories get put aside. The longer a rifter inhabits that body, less and less of the human remains. So, you took over Brody's body after the war? Yes, and inherited some vague recollections of Walter Larch. But you knew who I was when we met in Poland, right? No, no, no. Brody only ever saw a picture of you as a baby. Since then, you'd grown up and changed your name to Gold. Well, see, that's what I don't get. Why would I change my name to Gold? That was your father's doing. My father? Yes. Walter and your father were always at odds. Never got along. Walter was a generous man who uh, said you should always follow your dreams and enjoy life. He was a baseball player. Just like you. I already know that. Unfortunately, your father didn't share Walter's philosophy. He was always very serious, finding little time for family or pleasure. The final rift happened when you were a small child. Your father told Walter he had nothing to do with him or have anything to do with you ever again. So he changed our name to Gold. Exactly. And as you grew up, it became apparent that you'd inherited your grandfather's talent and passion for baseball. That was an irony your father couldn't handle. 
he always wanted you to be a physician just like him. And he did everything to try to sway you that way. So was the injury. The pin in my arm. That's what brought my career to an end, wasn't it? Yes. Your father got what he wanted, eventually. My grandfather never knew. No. There's one more thing you need to know, Martin. Luna has seen the future. You have to understand that it's going to take all of you working together to kill me. What's up? I don't know. It's... It's just... I don't feel right taking money from a family I never knew. Did the state manage to locate your father? No, well, they haven't got a clue, but... the private investigator says he's gonna keep on looking. He's pretty good. After all, he found you. Hey. How hard can it be to find a reclusive, middle-aged, rich guy? Don't worry, William. This will all be over soon. With that little obstacle out of the way, I can now focus on my true enemy. Sorry, Doctor. Let me go. If anyone should understand, it should be you. Knowledge is power. And the more we know about the Rifters, the better able we are to defeat them. Hmm. And you're just the right person to tell us everything we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> 